Hi friends. I'm currently sitting in my bathroom, but no, I'm not doing my business because that would be poor manners. Speaking of poor manners, there are some issues I want to talk about. First of all, everyone pees. And everyone has the ability to look and see where all their pee went. Unfortunately, this passive aggressive sign became necessary in my bathroom because I had a child who would come over and not lift the seat and pee all over it. And that resulted in people sitting in the pee, possibly me. If you have problems aiming, then I feel for you. But you need to look at the floor, you need to look at the back of the toilet and the seat and the wall and everywhere else and make sure your pee did not go anywhere it wasn't supposed to and use the cleaning wipes that are provided in the bathroom. If you sprinkle when you tinkle, be a sweetie and wipe the seedy. What I really mean is, if you pee all over my bathroom again, I will hunt you down, I'll put your head in the toilet, and I'll flush. For years when I was growing up, I was confused as to why there would be pee on the toilet seats in the women's restrooms, and I always figured some little boy must have come in with his mother and his mom didn't clean up after him. And then one day, a friend of mine came out of the stall and she had left pee on the toilet seat. And I was stunned. I said, you, how? How did you get pee on the toilet seat? She said it was because she was afraid of germs. So she would just hover or squat over the toilet, but that wasn't working. And that was making the toilet germy for everyone. And I also didn't understand, how is she not getting it on her own pants? If all of us sit down to pee, then it won't be germy for anyone. And if you're worried about germs, our hands touch everything. Our rear ends, see we take a shower, and our bums don't touch anything until we sit on the toilet. Peeing is not hard. There are many things that are hard about being a woman, but I thought we could at least have bragging rights when it comes to aiming our pee. Not too long ago when I was waiting for my son to finish singing at an event, actually which was his graduation that he decided not to walk at, so I just waited in the parking lot, I had to use the porta potty and look what happened. Well, they have a mirror in this porta potty. How luxurious but I feel like I may have sat in somebody else's pee and now I won't be able to shower until very late tonight. Shut up, truck. As I was saying, I feel like I sat in somebody else's pee and I'm not gonna be able to shower till maybe midnight. I could not feel more grossed out right now. Okay, now here I am with the venue behind me where my son would be participating in graduation if he had chosen to participate. And yeah, my butt is definitely wet from somebody else's urine, unless that was a cleaning product. I'm just gonna tell myself that someone sprayed it with bleach, which I would rather have on my rear end right now. So there's only like one way in and out of this place. So you have to drive in one direction I'm not even sure how to get to the front to pick him up, but I have about mm, 15 minutes till I need to head over there and pick him up because his director said they should be done with their singing stuff at 730 and then he can ditch his own graduation. Did I mention he owes me big time? The parking people put up a tape so I can't get out. Isn't that cute? I moved these cones so I could get out of this area. And now I'll put them back. How kind of me. Like, what if someone had an emergency and had to leave? Not that this is an emergency, but they shouldn't be able to trap people here. By the end of this, I was really mad because not only had I been there for two hours waiting, but I had no way to take a shower. And then the parking situation was just the icing on the cake. So after that video, <laughs> I had to do like a 50 point turn just to get out because the parking attendants had people parking so close 
to the backs of other cars. It barely left me any room to get out. So yeah, that was me getting mad for real. And then just a week or two ago, I was at Fred Meyer and luckily I noticed, but I hurried into a stall and once again, someone has left their pee all over the toilet seat. And now for a demonstration. But not all pee streams are created equal. Some women pee like this. This might work in combination with hovering, but I don't think so. And what is one? And if this is you, I feel sorry for you. Don't squat ever because this is a disaster. Okay, so if you do happen to pee on the toilet seat and you're a woman, and that should never happen, you turn around to flush the toilet. So how do you not notice that your pee is covering the toilet seat? I'm at the point where I'm gonna start bringing a spray bottle with me everywhere because who knows how many people do pee on the toilet seat and then just dab it with some toilet paper afterwards. And no, not every stall has those uh, toilet seat protectors and they don't actually really feel like they do anything either. So I'm just gonna bring a little bottle of bleach with me everywhere I go. I actually bought it from doTERRA, but I'm not gonna put essential oils in it. I'm just gonna put bleach in it because I want all your pea germs dead. There is a special place in hell for you.